Okay, here we are. Um, so the basis of the battery is actually a marker pen. This this can be found in a Wilkinson's or whatever, wherever you live, hardware shop. Um, they're only 16 pence in the UK, which is very cheap for the UK, as everything usually costs about £100. Um, so, it, it's not bad. So yeah, as you can see, the top is very similar dimensions to the original battery, slightly thinner, which is actually quite useful. Um, so yeah, this is the basis of this. For the electrodes, we're using these kind of sort of brass type screws, um, which will form the basis of, as you can see, the air, the, the, the contact here. Um, so you use two of these, one for your flat bottom, the flat, bottomed uh, end of the battery and you cut the other to form the thin top end. So you only need two because only one in each battery because obviously you, you don't need to connect the, the second terminal at all it just needs to the, just literally runs through it. Um, so and, and that's where, where we're going with this. Um, so yeah just these two screws uh, wire it's good these are for my battery pack, which is uh, going to clip on whatever batteries I choose to. Um, some flux, some solder. Flux is very useful. You don't need this much, a tiny amount. Um, a decent-ish soldering iron for this, uh, to attach the wires to the screws. So if you don't have that, obviously you could attach them in other ways. You could possibly tape the wire on, or you know, it, but it would probably be a little more difficult. I did think maybe you could use... Um, some people use tin foil. You could use tin foil wrapped around these, or these screw these into stuff this with tin foil and screw these into the tin foil and have a wire running off of that. But I've decided to go the solder route because I've got a soldering iron, which makes it easier. Um, so yeah, in a second or in a little while, I'll show you the next stage.